Hello and welcome to Technovation. In this video, I'll cover some basics about the Technovation Challenge, how it works, and how you can get involved. Our primary goal is to give girls confidence in computer science and entrepreneurship. Confidence building is our focus. We provide girls with a safe all-girls community, which helps them feel like they belong in the technical world. And we provide a platform for girls to pair with professional female role models who can inspire and encourage them. Each year we host an app development challenge where girls all over the world compete to create the most innovative mobile app. Girls are faced with numerous stereotypes about computer science. They picture programmers sitting alone, secluded, in a cubicle all day, doing work that has little or no impact on the outside world. We try to counter these stereotypes by showing girls that computer science is a fun, creative, collaborative process. Designing mobile apps is real and tangible for the girls because their phone is something they use every day. This year's challenge is for girls to create an app that solves a problem in their local community. We want girls to understand the powerful role that technology can play in solving world problems. Students in our program work in teams to design mobile apps, write business plans, and pitch their idea to venture capitalists. Each team is supported by their mentor who leads the lessons and acts as a role model for them. Anyone can be a mentor for Technovation, as long as she has the passion and dedication needed to support a team. Technovation provides all of the curriculum your students will need to create their app. And all of our curriculum is hosted by an online platform called Peer-to-Peer -Peer University, or P2PU. Now I'll go over our basic timeline. In the fall, mentors and teachers sign up and then pair with one another through P2PU. Once a mentor has found a school that she would like to work with, she and her partner teacher at that school will work together to recruit girls. This usually involves speaking at a school-wide assembly to tell girls about the program. In December, Hack Days are organized for your students to learn App Inventor. You can organize a regional Hack Day for the schools in your area, or you can host a small-scale Hack Day just for the girls on your team. A Hack Day can happen anywhere, at a local university campus, at a library, or at your school. The purpose of Hack Day is for students, mentors, and teachers to come together and learn App Inventor together. App Inventor is a visual block space language that's ideal for beginners to learn how to build apps. Hack Day is generally six or seven hours on a Saturday and serves as a kickoff party for the program. We recommend completing your Hack Day before January 21st when the 12 week program begins so that your students will be prepared and ready to go. At some point during the program, your students should take a field trip to a technology company, either physically or virtually. If your team doesn't have access to a technology company nearby that you can reach out to, we have a series of videos which serve as virtual field trips for your girls. By watching these videos, your students will get a behind the scenes look at how a technology company operates and what a typical day looks like for a software engineer. Our 12 week curriculum begins the week of January 21st. We offer weekly lessons for the girls to learn about programming, entrepreneurship, user-centered design, and market research. During the 12 weeks, girls will generally meet once a week after school for about four hours. For the first two hours, girls can work on tutorials independently. When the mentor arrives about five o'clock, she will check in with the girls, ask them about their work, and present a brief lesson about the computer science concepts they've been working on. She will teach them about how to create a paper prototype, how to design a nice user interface for their app, how to write a business plan, and how to pitch their idea to investors to get funding for their app. At the end of the program, students will submit a short video pitch along with their business plan and source code. All projects must be submitted by April 13, 2013. The winning teams from each region will come to the San Francisco Bay Area for a world pitch event where they will compete against teams from all over the world to win $10,000 in funding to take their app to market. If you haven't signed up yet, there are three basic steps. First, create an account with Peer-to-Peer -Peer University, or P2PU. P2PU is an open source website run by Mozilla, which hosts our curriculum and functions as a platform for students, teachers, and mentors to ask and answer questions and help each other as part of the Technovation community. Once you've signed up on P2PU, you'll fill out a short Google form to register. After registering with us, you'll receive access to our mentor matching map, this will help you find schools near you if you're a mentor, or mentors near you if you're a teacher. Once you've signed up and connected through P2PU with your mentor or your teacher, you can get started working together to recruit girls. Whenever you have questions, you and your students can refer to our website, where we have an enormous set of resources and an FAQ page, which will help you through the process. 
As you go through the curriculum on P2PU, you and your students will be able to ask and answer questions about each of the lessons. I am thrilled to be working with each of you this year as we inspire and engage girls in technology. Thank you for being part of this movement.